These are the most important updates that have happened with Shopify that you must be aware of if you want to increase your sales on Shopify. We literally have over 100 plus updates that Shopify has released and we're going to be covering the most important ones in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey y'all, it's Chase Chapel here. It's your favorite digital marketer. And we've been in the advertising space for over eight years now where we literally advise on over $200 million in ad spend across the Facebook products and TikTok ads. Where we literally teach and train individuals on how to not only run ads, but we also manage them at the agency for our clients. And today we're gonna be going over the exact changes that Shopify's made, the exact updates. So that way you can see what's new and what's important if you run a Shopify store. And literally it's important to pay attention to what actually changes because it could actually lead to higher conversion rates, increase in sales, and actually allow you to achieve better results overall with your ads and provide a better customer experience for your actual customers online. So let's go ahead and start walking through some of these updates that they just released. So here we are, we're on Shopify's actual website where they just posted their summer 2022, a collection of product updates across all of Shopify. And one of the very first things that we'll actually see is Shopify audiences, which is an incredible tool y'all because Shopify audiences are literally going to allow you to be able to track actual individuals on other people's Shopify stores. And you can actually create an audience from a product you have on your store. Let's say you sell sunglasses. And if you're selling sunglasses, you can literally click on this sunglasses that you sell and it'll create an audience of anybody who's actually purchased or actually shown interest in purchasing sunglasses on other people's Shopify stores, allowing you to create an audience of a potential of few million people that you can actually use in Facebook. And we've already been testing this with our clients and you can literally plug this in and actually get audiences for the actual products you have by leveraging you know, Shopify's network of stores. And you can choose whether you opt into this or opt out to actually you know, prevent your data from being shared. But if you wanna be able to access this you know, after the iOS changes have happened and you wanna find new audiences to potentially go after, this could be a really good solution for you. And this is one of the you know, updates of the hundreds that they've released. And this could actually increase your conversion rates, give you better performing ads. It uses their smart audience creation with machine learning where it's detecting who's interested Interested in certain products and who's not and literally pays attention to your store demographics and matches them up with other stores that have similar products where people are buying and this allows you to literally target an audience of people who've actually already purchased on Shopify before or have been on Shopify sites before so if you sell on Amazon and you know you're actually looking to get more customers well now you're gonna be finding people who are already prone to actually knowing Shopify who already are used to actually ordering on Shopify which makes it easier customer experience for them and makes it easier for you to get in front of the right audience. Now, this is a Shopify Plus exclusive, meaning you have to be on Shopify Plus to actually use this. But as you actually scale and grow your store, you'll be able to get access to this and actually test it. If you don't have Shopify Plus, it's not the end of the world. You don't need to get Shopify Plus just to have access to this. But as you see yourself scaling your store and you're actually growing, you can actually get access to this tool. And eventually you might end up rolling it out to you know smaller stores as time goes on because it still is in beta since it is very recently released. Next up, we have Shop Cash. And Shop Cash is an easy way for people to literally go on Shopify, make a purchase with Shop Pay, and they can literally earn rewards with shop cash so this is gonna incentivize cash rewards for people to literally use the one-click checkout option and use shop pay which is essentially able for Shopify to gather more information give higher conversion rates to their customers and allow a lot of individuals to automatically check out without having to re-enter their info they can literally just go to your website click shop pay check out and earn rewards for this so Essentially, Shopify is incentivizing customers to literally use ShopPay so that way they can get cash back from these things. And you can literally create custom offers with ShopPay now on Shopify's behalf to be able to attract more individuals to actually make the buy. This is gonna be really great because there's already 100 million plus people using ShopPay and this is gonna really allow you to dive in and be able to get more sales, higher conversion rates, and really increase the overall purchase volume on your Shopify site. And then the next important update is Shopify Market. Shopify Markets is an easy way for you to literally sell internationally. A lot of you will be targeting US, Canada, the UK, Australia, and be selling to these different countries. But when people go to your website, it's in one actual currency or one specific language, and they either have to manually change it, which decreases the actual conversion rate because there's more friction actually happening, 
or they have to accept the actual change by clicking a button, well, Shopify markets will automatically detect where they're located and adjust the actual settings for your currency, the language, the actual products even that people are purchasing to make it easier for people to actually check out. So that way, when you're selling to different audiences and you're targeting on Facebook, TikTok, Google, and you're going after multiple countries, your shop is automatically adjusting based off where people are from, making it easier for you to actually convert these individuals, making the actual shop experience more seamless, and it gives a much better personal experience for the customer because once they visit your site, they feel like that it's a website that is already made for them, which is really important. So Shopify Markets is going to be a huge game changer because there's a lot of apps out there that offer this, but Shopify Markets is gonna integrate this so that way, you can literally drive higher conversion rates. In fact, they're they're mentioning up to 40% higher conversion rates in international regions just by customizing your storefront for each market to improve the buying experience for customers, which is absolutely incredible. So you'll be able to actually adjust the currencies, language, and everything very easily with Shopify markets. And then we have your standard Shopify checkout, which is what everybody's used to seeing now. It's the process that everyone goes through and it's already very great at converting. But what they're gonna do now is they're gonna make an actual extension where you can actually add in and start branding your actual checkout experience to be more unique. And there's an example right here where this is a plant brand where they're actually making it more customized. You can see that the colors are branded. You have rounded buttons. You can actually make adjustments. You can upsell individuals without having to actually use another app. And you can actually collect information easier, change the fonts, and make it to where it's actually a more personable buying experience and more individuals will actually convert because of this. Once again, this is a Shopify Plus customer experience, but as time goes on, they do roll out these features to all Shopify customers eventually. So this is a really cool feature. It's gonna help with the overall experience. It's gonna increase brand awareness. People are gonna remember the actual brand more often. The likeliness of them actually checking out is gonna go up. There's gonna be new ways to actually upsell and cross sell, which can increase profitability. If you've already acquired that customer, making the overall experience much better for both the store owner and the actual individual. And they're gonna make it to where you can actually improve the overall discount options where you can actually combine different discounts. And whenever you're running ads and sending people to a specific discount, it actually adds that in automatically, making it much easier for people to actually check out and you'll be able to offer special discounts in the process. And now not only do you have post-purchase, but you can even do pre-orders. A lot of times individuals will literally sell out their inventory. We have multiple clients where we've literally sold out their inventory from TikTok organic, TikTok ads, and Facebook ads. And once they're sold out, we usually start collecting emails. But Shopify is gonna roll out a way for people to actually pre-order and start buying the inventory and buying those items. If it's a really hot item and it has truly sold out, rather than waiting, you can actually start collecting payments and still be running ads and actually driving in customers and they know it's a pre-order because they're essentially buying on behalf of accepting that it is a pre-order, giving you more options for your customers to actually purchase and not have to wait. And then that way you can actually be able to get the inventory to deliver on the products, which is super awesome and a really easy way for you to increase your overall sales volume as well. And Shopify is also now rolling out more themes. They literally have increased their themes up to eight new free themes that you can actually use and go through. Themes are really important because it gives an actual, you know, frame for your actual store, making it easy to navigate, easier ways to actually check out, more seamless, and it's branded. And you wanna make sure that you actually have a very you know, seamless store where people can see the items, they can see your best sellers. We actually made a video on this where we talk about this brand that went to 60 million a year and we actually break down their actual strategies being used both in their ads, but also their Shopify site. We literally walk through all of the steps in their actual site for how they actually structured it so that way you can increase your conversion rates too. And that's really great with this actual online store editor because you can actually build a store from the ground up now and make it super customizable and you're not actually going to be limited fully to themes anymore. You can actually build upon them, improve them, and make it a lot more effective for you to actually have really consistent branding, really consistent ways for people to actually check out and increase your overall conversion rates. We're going to see a lot of different Shopify stores as clients start to make changes and we make adjustments. We're going to start seeing the data and there's going to be a lot of new strategies that are going to come out because of this because there's more options available to actual marketers and brand owners to make adjustments and look at data to actually see what is converting. It makes sense as to why Shopify is releasing so many updates you know, right now because they're wanting to shake up a lot of things and be able to drive better experiences and increase sales for individuals. The actual next update is customer engagement tools. So if you use tools like Klaviyo 
and you know MailChimp and these different tools, well, Shopify is rolling it out to where they have their own email automations, their own Shopify inbox, their own Shopify emails, and ways to customer segment and actually build custom audiences that you can send to Facebook, TikTok, and Google, making it much easier and more automated for your actual you know brand, where you're actually saving more money using tools like these. And now you'll be able to actually have you know AI integrations that actually understand different you know automation sequences, and you can build out actual emails. You know most businesses that send emails weekly see a much higher lift in their overall sales volume. Lots of brands literally have really high add to cart ratios, but very low conversion rate ratios. And you want to be able to recover those add to carts. And one way to do so is having a very nice add to cart email sequence. It's one of the quickest ways to lift your overall sales volume, especially capturing that lower funnel. And even after they purchase, being able to have the post purchase email sequences going out to increase overall profitability. Once you've acquired a customer, it's much easier to keep them and actually keep them happy and make a lot of actual sales just by following up with them via email. And that's what these actual segmentations are going to allow you to do and actually being able to reach out to your customer in a much more seamless way. And you can actually see people actually using the Shop Pay app, they're going to have notifications going out. Don't forget to complete your checkout. This is a form of retargeting. They're literally notifying the actual customer who actually just purchased. So you're incentivized not only to get people to buy with Shop Pay, but now Shop Pay is actually going to be notifying them if they leave stuff in your cart. This is going to be great because it's going to increase overall conversion rates and allow you to recover individuals much quicker. And this is an easy way for you to actually take this information and even use it in your actual ads as well. And you can even design your store on here so if people download the app, you have more ways to actually get in front of those customers. And then more on the admin side, we have Shopify Flow, where you can literally set up automations when somebody orders, you know, it sends an actual message, it sends the actual delivery information, it might even post in your Slack message to let you know, and actually add it to spreadsheets for actual data collection. There's different things you can do with this actual Shopify Flow, different sequences that happen in your business. So that way you can automate the process and put your attention on things that really matter. The more automation you have in your actual Shopify store, the easier it is that you can actually run the business and more ways that you can actually focus on scaling up ads and looking at actual Facebook ad strategies, TikTok ad strategies. So that way you can actually continue to grow your store, whether you're going after a six figure month, a seven figure, or even eight figure month. It's all possible if you put your mind to it. You know, we literally have students here like Easy who literally hit 100K month, you know, with us just in a few months from actually starting our online mentorship. He started going through the process, literally went from having 30K months to having 110 plus K months very quickly. And that's all from actually being able to, you know, streamline the process and actually scale up his ads. So if you are on Shopify, you're going to want to check out these actual tools because it's going to allow you to improve your overall experience and make things much more effective. It'll save you time. It'll increase the speed of your actual site. You'll be able to have less tools, but be leveraging more of the Shopify created ones that are actually fully integrated with your Shopify site, giving you better sales volume, better conversion rates, and allowing you to succeed in a much easier way. And then of course, there's going to be data protection where they're making things anonymous. It'll let you know where your data is being shared because that is a bigger topic of conversation that's been coming up lately is your customer's actual data. And it's very important that you understand where your data is being shared, how you're sharing it, and what ways you're using it, because this is a very you know important thing and an important topic that a lot of customers care about. And so Shopify is making it easier for you to understand where this data is going. So that way you can provide an overall better experience, making customers feel more comfortable with actually purchasing on your online site. And then finally, we have Shopify Balance and Shopify Capital. You can upload a balance into your Shopify, manage your money in one place, so that way it's easier to actually control seeing what's going in and out. And then Shopify Capital, if you're scaling up and your cash cycles are a little bit off, you can actually get capital, increase your cash cycle, end up scaling up with ads potentially, and being able to actually you know, use money and leverage that to scale up even further. And so these are really amazing tools and different ways that Shopify is actually rolling out updates. And there's so many more that they're actually coming out with. And if you're going to test some of these, I highly recommend it because it's only going to potentially help. So those are just a few of the most important updates out of the 100 plus that Shopify has released over the last few months here in summer of 2022. And every single day, we literally have Shopify stores absolutely crushing it. For instance, like Thomas here, who's literally on track to do his first 100K month after going through and applying our TikTok and Facebook ad strategies. And even clients like Easy here, who's on pace to you know potentially do a 200K month after just hitting his first ever 100K plus month. And this is all due to you know actually going through our one-on-one -on -one mentorship. In our one-on-one -on -one mentorship, we literally break down the exact ways to structure the actual store, increase conversion rates, how to actually optimize your Facebook ads from 
actually scaling up, creating ads, writing copy, the best structure, because we have access to so many ad accounts and so much data, we're able to pull these analytics and pull this actual you know, data feeds to understand what it is that actually drives conversions, what provides a better experience, what's gonna actually increase longevity in your actual customers. And these are the exact things we break down in both our Facebook ads curriculum and our TikTok ads curriculum, where we explain the exact strategies that we're both using on the agency side and with our students, so that way they can hit you know, actual 100K months, $1 million months, and scale up even further. So if this is something that interests you, make sure to DM me the word mentor on Instagram at Real Chase Chapel, or you can click the link below this video and you can actually book a call with our team to see if it's the right fit for you. So once again, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. My name is Chase Chapel, and cheers and bye y'all. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, then I know you're an ambitious learner and you're looking for more. So go ahead and click this video here. I hand selected it for you.